YouTube, it is No Makeup Shannon, and I'm back again with another Bad Girls Club review. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I hope that you enjoy this um, review because this is like my favorite episode so far. Man, a lot of stuff happened. So let's get started with the review, you guys. And as for my last review, I don't know how I forgot that Bernisha and Z got into a, another fight. Like, I don't know why that didn't cross my mind. I did put it in the description box, but that situation was kind of irrelevant. But anyways, so if you want to see what I thought about that fight, then just go to that video and look in the description box. But anyways, this episode is called Welcome to Candy Land. This episode was my favorite because, like, I don't know, I really like the new girl. But before we talk about her, we're going to talk about the stuff that happened before she came. So, basically, it is Kayla's birthday, and throughout this episode, like, she said that it was her birthday a million times. So, I guess Kayla is turning 23. I didn't know that Kayla was that young. I thought she was at least, you know, 26 or... I didn't know she was that young, y'all. So basically in this episode, the girls go on like a survival camp quest type of trip so they can learn how to survive in the wilderness or if they manage to get lost somewhere in the wilderness or whatever, they learned how to filter water. They learned how to make fire. I thought it was really interesting because that is something that I would love to learn how to do because I don't really know how to do that kind of stuff. So I thought it was really interesting. So, this is where they first meet the new girl. Her name is Candice. Candy for short. She's 24. She's from Chicago. And Candy basically talked about the death of her brother and how it kind of triggered her anger and how her and her brother was really close and, you know, stuff like that. So, I was just like, wow, that's really sad. She's also, um, she also let the girls know that she was a lesbian. And I thought it was okay. I'm like, I can definitely see why you're a lesbian. Not trying to, you know, be funny, but she just had that stud type of look. But she's really, really pretty. And she has a really nice voice. So, so far, I really like Candace. And then again, like, I don't remember what they were talking about, but her and Z started making out. I'm just like... <sighs> okay, Z, like... Anyways. So, at the fire camp, um... Candy is starting to notice that Kayla is really annoying because she's like self-absorbed. You know, she always talks about herself. And I'm starting to notice that as the episode goes on. So Z friend and her cousin end up visiting, right? And I honestly, the girls didn't really like them because I guess they looked ratchet because they were like white girls with box braids and you know, black people hairstyles, but I honestly really loved it. Like the one girl that had the box braids, I think they were like gray or blonde. I thought it was really cute. So I don't understand why the girls were like being disrespectful. I personally love when people like embrace the black heritage. Like I really love stuff like that. So I don't understand why they were being disrespectful. And then again, um, one of the girls did Z's um, braids to the back. They were like gray, and I thought it was really cute. I thought Z looked really cute and humble. Um, while her cousin and her friend was visiting, I kind of saw a different side of Z that I actually like. She looks like, you know, she's actually a fun person to be around, so I don't know. I don't know why the girls were hated so much when her friends came over. Um, so this is another situation that happens. The girls ended up going out again to the club, and I guess Z invited her cousin and her friend. And then Mrs. Closure Piece, a.k.a. Adrian, basically told Z, like, oh, I don't really want them here, and blah, 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 like, they're ratchet. I'm just like, Adrian, like... Why? Why does it matter? It doesn't matter to you because <coughs> they're black or they're white girls with a black hairstyle. Like, what is the issue? I don't really understand why she was so mad because they were there. It just didn't make any sense. 
So she basically tells Z like they have to go. Um, Z actually goes over there. She Z was just basically like, I don't want any drama. So she just basically went over there and told them not to be in their section. But like Stephanie said, if if you if she said something like if I was Z, I wouldn't have done that because I guess they all pay for the section. So Z paid a little bit of something. Stephanie paid a little bit of something. Every one of the girls paid a little bit of something. So if, if basically like if she paid for it, why is it such an such an issue? Like I really didn't understand where Adrian was coming from, and I think Adrian was just simply just trying to say something just to say something because when Kayla friends come over in their booth, she never has anything to say. So I don't understand what's the issue. And then again, Z only had like her cousin and her her friend. When Kayla has people over, she has over her brother, her sister, her mom. Like, she has everybody in the booth. So I really don't see why it was such an issue. And, um, basically because it's Kay Kayla's birthday, everybody is basically decorating. Kayla and, um, Z and Stephanie, they all went out to lunch. Everybody else stayed back to decorate. Well, not everybody else, but Bernicia and Adrian. They all... Well, like I was saying, Z and them, they went out for her birthday. And you guys, this just goes to show you. I think Candy went too. I actually know she did. This just goes to show you that um, <coughs> Kayla is just really unappreciative. She's not thankful because Z basically paid for her food, right? I don't know if she said thank you, but she said something like, oh, Z, um... Basically, she wasn't appreciative. She wasn't thankful. She was just like, oh my God, I know you paid for my food, but sometimes you're annoying. Sometimes you get on my nerves. Like, if this girl offers to pay for your food, you shouldn't have anything to say. And I could have cared less if it was her birthday dinner. I would not have paid for that. So I don't understand why Z paid for it, but it just is what it is, I guess. So I guess in this scene, we get to see a side of candy that I kind of want to see in the background. So, the girls went to a day party, right? Kayla has her friends there. I guess they're still celebrating Kayla's birthday. And from the looks of it, they have been celebrating it for a couple of days, according to some of the girls. So, they went to this day party, and Winter and Candace kind of get into it because I guess um, one of Kayla's friends kind of like brushed past, like say for instance, this is Candace, her food is also there. This is Candace. And then Winter's friend kind of just brushes past. She doesn't say, excuse me. She doesn't really say, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And I can definitely understand where Candace is coming from. Because I know certain people who are really picky with their food. And I personally, I don't like when people stretch over my food. I don't like when people brush past. I don't know what you have or... What is your issue, but just don't touch my food. That's something that is going inside of my body, so. I can understand why Candace was mad. And her and Winter basically got into it because she was basically saying, like, you know, like, you could have at least said, excuse me, you know, something. And then Winter, I mean, Candace confronted Winter about it, and they kind of got into a little bit of an argument. And I can see why Candace doesn't like Winter. Cause she's just she thinks that everybody is supposed to automatically just what do you call it? She thinks that she's like a princess and everybody is supposed to tarry around her. Like no, just like when Candace and Winter was in the kitchen, and I guess Winter was just like grabbing on her cup and she was trying to pour some of her orange juice out into her cup. And I'm just like, Winter, you can't do that. Like, some people just simply don't like it when people touch their food. She's not one of those people. And I guess Candace was just letting her know, you know, that at that point in the kitchen, like, don't touch my food. She was just basically saying, have some respect. Don't just think that you can do something. Make sure you ask, you know, before you start grabbing for stuff. So anyways, you guys, um... Okay, so, I don't know about how a lot of people feel about Stephanie. Like, she's really cool, and I guess she's funny. But, I'm kind of sort of tired of her playing the life coach. Like, 
I guess it's because I'm so used to what Bad Girls Club is, and when I see a bad girl, I just know one. And I just don't think Stephanie should be in the house. It's just, I don't think she should be in the house, y'all. Like, I don't know. I don't want to say too much about it, but I just feel like she doesn't need to be there. Like, we need new girls, so I don't know. So the next thing is the girls go, the girls go out to a sushi event, and a lot of people didn't want to go, but long story short, they ended up liking it. And at this little sushi event, you can see that candy is not feeling winter. Winter is not feeling candy. You could just almost feel the tension through the TV screen. Like <laughs> they just really were not feeling each other. So. I guess after this event is where everything kind of took place, right? So they're in the van. Z and um, Stephanie, well mainly Z. Z told um, Candace about what happened with the whole birthday dinner and how she paid for her and how she wasn't thankful. And then that's when Z started to tell Candace about the whole Kaylee situation and how her and another girl pushed... Um, uh, how Tabitha and Winter basically bossed Kaylee around, bullied her, and Candace was basically saying, I can definitely see something like that happening because that's the type of, you know, vibe that Kayla gives off, which is extremely true because as we see, Kayla is kind of like a, it's all about me type of person. So I can definitely see why she gets that vibe. And then basically in the van, Candace was just saying like, oh yeah, I'm going to talk to her when... I go back home. We'll see how much of a bully she is when she gets bullied. So, I'm not saying two wrongs don't make a right, but then again, we've all seen how Kayla has been. Like, the whole situation that happened with her, Tabitha, and Kayla, Kaylee. Um, so, I'm kind of ready for this, y'all. I'm not going to even lie to you. So, finally, they get home. And Winter is basically walking up the stairs. Candy is right behind her. And as they were walking up the stairs, Winter just blurts out that, Kayla, I think you're a... And they bleeped it out, but I think she said the B word. I don't want to say it, but I think that's what she said. And Winter just kind of turned around like, what? Why do you say so? Like, <laughs> it was so funny because she was just looking like, oh my God, like, why would you say that about me? It was kind of out of nowhere, but then again, Candace did say that she will teach her what it's like to feel like you're being bullied. So I expected it. Um, so Candy basically just tell Winter how she feels, and I love people like that. I love when you can tell somebody how you feel without, you know, you know. But yeah, she just basically says like, Kaylee, or I think you're a Oh, I think you're a slut. I don't think you have a backbone. Blah blah blah, etc. And then y'all, Adrian jumps into the conversation, and I'm just like, Adrian, where did where did you come from? Like, this is not your business. Not because Kayla is your friend. That doesn't mean that you can just jump into anything. This is her battle. Let her fight her own battles or argue her own battles, whatever. <clears throat> so. Adrian basically jumps in and she's just like, oh, well, where is this coming from? Where, like, Adrian, like, shut up, like, I don't like Adrian for the simple fact that she's been irrelevant since the first episode, and she's just trying to be irrelevant off of somebody else's situation, like, it's just annoying, like, so anyways, in the next episode, as we could see, we see that they do get into it, or I think they did fight, because if you guys saw Kayla's eye at the end of that preview, or a sneak peek, like, oh my god, her eye was like puffy, and you can tell that they fought. I really, really think that they did fight. And, um, I think Candace also said, like, oh, do I look like, um, do I look like Kaylee to you? Like, it was a lot, y'all. So I cannot wait for the next episode. I cannot wait. Because I think... I feel kind of just a little bit bad for Winter. But then again, like... <laughs> what goes around comes around ten times worse than it did when you were doing it. So I feel like she should have just been on 
good she should have tried to be on good terms with everybody because now she's feeling the wrath of people that are gonna treat her like you know s h i anyways but y'all that is the end of this review i cannot wait for the next episode you guys because i can already tell that it's gonna be something special but if you like this video please Subscribe to my channel so you can see what I basically do on this channel. Um, thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I will see you guys later in my next video.